right guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we do not have a car video. We actually have a lawnmower we just purchased. So we had an older gas model and it started kind of messing up. We didn't get rid of it, but we got to do some work on it. So we went and looked at another lawnmower and we decided to go with an electric one. So this one is a Ryobi 40 volt lithium battery. This one is self-propelled. We definitely needed that one. Really, you probably need that in general, but with us having almost an, like half acre of property, we needed the self-propelled. So we're gonna do a little review on this. We're gonna kinda show you guys how to use it, what some of the features are of it, and some of the plus sides of having an electric mower instead of a gas mower. Everybody knows gas prices are really high right now. So if you're having a gas mower, you have big property that you're cutting, maybe considering going with an electric might be a good idea. So we're gonna show you guys kinda what we got here. Here's the box of it. So we did take the battery out of the box to charge it last night. Uh, so don't worry about that. That's what would be there. But here's how it's packaged in there. If you want to show that for them. Plus two, before I use it, the battery's pretty much very low. You're going to want to let it charge maybe overnight or for a couple hours. You guys here's your bag. Here's our bag that comes with it. It says Roby on it. So it's first time using an electric mower so we'll get this out real quick and we'll show it all right guys we got it out of the box too right here what you could do you go to you can review the wind go to ryobi tools write a review of your any tool outdoor tool and you can be entered in a monthly giveaway right here even send them a picture at facebook instagram and twitter right here register to protect your product just ready to go it's free it says chance to review new tools before they are available and plus two they might give you some deals on some new tools be the first to know about new products coming out and receive how to and tips about your tool right here. all right guys so this is the bag and then you're going to get this little metal bar right here see it's got the handle on it and then it goes inside to the bottom obviously it keeps the bag nice and firm you have to clamp it on these little black rubbers it just goes right over the metal all the way around real simple yep. real easy just remember that the ryobi goes on the top your where the handle the is there you go and then that will go attached onto here all right guys so this is for mulching right here it came attached to the lawnmower already unlike the bag to take this off you have to pull it up and then you're going to just kind of glide it out here it is this obviously attaches into the top and then now you can attach your bag, which is easier. You just have to set that in, lock it in place, and push down. That's pretty good. So you can do two features if you want to mulch or if you want to bag it. And we we come when we do our lot cut the grass, we usually do both. One week we mulch and one week we would bag it. So I'm gonna go over a couple little things here that we just discovered on it. So here is where your battery goes. This is where one is actually going to run the lawnmower as you can see it has the little uh, grooves for the battery and this would be just the storage if you have an extra battery you can keep it in here if this one dies here is the key this goes right here this pretty much acts like a car key it will not let the the lawnmower start without that key in there so it's a real good little safety yeah. feature if you're emptying the bag or maybe you need to clean it take this key out or if you have kids around and you want to store it take the key out and you don't have to worry about them starting it. Now on this side, right here is kind of, we just adjust it so you have starting at an inch and a half, up to four inches. About three right here. I would here. say you're most likely gonna be at three and under, unless you don't cut your grass too commonly, then you might have to put it to four. We're gonna aim for either three or four. Mess with it and see. Yeah, before right. we use it, well, uh, he's gonna go over the handle. So just kind of something to tell you guys that we didn't know about this either so right here you can pin these as you can see this is what locks it in right here and that will let you fold the whole handle over for storage you can actually store these lawnmowers upright if you have an area to store it like that because it's electric it doesn't have gas or a carburetor so that's a little nice thing to have just to kind of help you and out plus two does this fold up this one right here or this does it is slide in adjustable you can close this in all the way and then fold it go ahead and, and fold that fold real it. quick these are your locks for it you have two locks there's your pins locks just switch it pull it up pull it out and then turn it 
And then there you go. So it will compact right. it. Can you take that bag off? And take then your bag off. Show us. All right, guys. So we have it all compacted down as small as you can have it. Take the bag off. You can actually put the mulcher back in if you wanted to. But for now, we have it out. And then you can store it upright. So you'll always pick it up from the front. And you could have it like that. So if you have a small shed you have to put it in. Or if you guys are putting it in your garage, it's nice to just be able to have it like that. And you can check out the blades. Another thing too, this this lawnmower is very light. I mean, so this is great even if you have a smaller yard and you don't want to have something very heavy to move, move around. You know, this would be great for this anyone that wants a light lawnmower. This is it. And plus too, with the front being light, you have to, and it propels from the back. So sometimes you're gonna have to uh, maybe put some weight in the front to turn it and stuff like that. This is a 20 inch blade. So it's gonna be cutting 20 inches. So uh, it's really nice to see that how light this one more like you, he was just saying because we're used to our older gas one and this one's extremely light. It's extremely just, you know, effortless to push around. Granted, we haven't cut with it yet, but just using it around here, yeah. just moving it. And I think this would be a lot easier for my wife, Khan's mom, to use it and push it around. It's a lot lighter. So you cannot adjust it. You only have uh, I thought you could, but you can either put it all the way in or it has to be all the way out. It won't lock. As you can see, it has these little grooves here. But uh, it won't lock. See if it won't, it won't adjust. It will not let you lock it. Like say you wanted to go right here. These will uh, not well, lock. Maybe right here. No. But that's all the way extended in so you can close it up. Right. So you do only have those two options. Actually, if you wanted to, you could probably make your own holes you, yeah, about that shape. Could. You You're could pretty somehow handy. get that same groove. You could definitely, but it's extremely just light. And then uh, that's it. Well, let's we'll go, keep going. We'll go over the uh, starting system when we go to cut. Here is the battery. It's a nice big battery. Here is the charger. This is included in this kit. You get one battery and then the charger. It's real simple. Obviously, you just slide this on like most power tool batteries are. This just plugs into a normal outlet and it actually has a gauge on the battery right here that will tell you how much you have and you have a little button you can check and see where you're at so just remember that when you do get this usually they're going to be at the first bar so do not plan on buying it and using it immediately but uh we're going to put this battery in we took the key out already real simple just open it up we'll have to get that's another battery so we'll have two there you go. There's our key. We'll put that back in. Okay, now to real quick before we get going, we're going to make a couple passes with the bag on it, and then we're going to do some passes with the mulcher on it and show you guys how well it's working. And then uh, what we're going to do also, because we almost have a half acre, we're going to, you know, see how long it takes to cut the lawn with this and see how long the battery will last. Hopefully, the one charge will last for everything we got to cut and we'll film a little bit of that too and so all right we'll be get going in a minute and, and if you're new to our channel um we do car show videos detailing videos a um, little bit of reviews like this a little bit of auto repair here in the michigan area if something you guys like join the channel and comment below you know if you have one of these or or if you uh plan on purchase one or if you have some some um, tips on how to use these let us know we like to learn from you guys in the comments we don't know everything we just like making videos and and we enjoy doing it and interacting with you guys so hey subscribe and comment below All right. so yeah you will have to kind of hold this down because it's really light but we're gonna go about midway right there so about three oh, inches more. Never mind. My dad wants us to go up one more. Sure. I guess he's the lawn master, so we Here gotta we listen go. to him. I want high. It's summertime. It's better. <laughs> so, uh, real simple, but just put a little bit of pressure down. I would say, like right here. A little bit. Go just on, don't want to slam it, but just a little bit. All right. So, here's how you start it. Real simple. Just kind of got obviously a little diagram. From right here, you could adjust your speed all the way to max or minimum. We'll start out at minimum when we start it on. So you're gonna hit the button. Get it closed, shut the lever. There we go. Now it's on. 
Okay, you gotta pull this lever and then hit the button. This is for you to self-propel it, would be this little lever. It's gonna go when you hold on to it. So when you're just sitting here, you'll just stand like this. So I'll adjust my speed to about halfway and I'm gonna start cutting. battery in it the light came right on I to see if it shuts off or if there's a switch you can shut off don't know if you guys know let us know that's some nice cuts there guys I'm gonna let him come here and we'll try to mulch it so what do you think right now all right this is a really nice mower it's probably why I looked a little goofy when I went to go turn it the first time get used to using the self-propelled but once you get used to this man it glides it's like you just hit this and you're pretty much just walking you are just walking with it it's definitely a big change from our other one it did have a self-propelled feature but you still had to put a little effort into this this thing really does drive itself and you're just behind it you're just walking with it which is nice and it's nice to have this little speed gauge right here you can open it up when you need to you can go a little bit slower when you need to but that was the biggest thing that I noticed is this thing really propels itself there's not really much effort you have to put into it when you're walking with it it's something that you might not really think about too much when you're buying a mower but on a long day summer day and it's hot out it's gonna be really nice to have that feature um, other than that it cuts real good you guys can see the lines all right, let's hook up, uh, sorry, cut you off. Let's hook up the mulch. Yep, we're going to mulch a little bit and show you guys how, how to works. do that. So as you guys can see, the, it's a little wet out still. We got a little bit of rain the other day. But, uh, Not yet, last night, maybe. Yeah, a couple, a little bit ago. It's every day in Michigan. Yeah, our, our weather's uh, it's quite quite interesting. There you go. There it's we a little go. tricky getting it in. Yeah, you got to kind of wiggle it good. in. But there you go. As simple as that. This is going to be us mulching. We're going to try that out. Look at that. Filled it up pretty quick. So with that long, I say go to maybe go to four. I like it high. All right, All right let's try it out. All right, same startup. Now right here, you kind of missed this grass right here. It's because that front end's light and it, when it takes off, it, it's you know almost does a wheelie. So look out for that where you might have to go out over a couple of spots. Until you get used to it.
Yeah, you can tell the grass is a little wet, so it's not cutting as good as it should be. So I cannot get over how well this thing does just drive itself. It seriously just glides, you're just walking with it, but it's a really good cutting mower. It uh, does a good job cutting, you know, it's not hard to use. Just overall a good mower to yeah, have. Yeah, seems cool. And electric's nice to have too, because you know, you don't have that common maintenance with gas. But. All right guys, so we're gonna do cut the grass. We gotta do the back, it's two sides of the house, the front, and we'll let you know how long the battery lasts for us. We were able to cut a pretty much, we're very close to a half acre, just say we have an half acre, and see, like it says on a box, this is great for a half acre, up to a half acre. Let's see if we can cut it with one battery, guys. All right, keep watching. cut all that right here with it you see the back the sides right here the side of the house all this all right let's go over here able to get all that cut let's go check out the front <laughs> So now we have the front left. We've got about maybe 10 minutes left of cutting right here in the front. If you guys can see that, not too much. Yeah, we got a few passes, but the battery did die. But uh, we did, we cut most of our yard, the big part of our yard. So worst comes to worst, we have to let it charge for a little bit, but we're gonna buy another battery anyways, just to have it. But overall, this mower works great. The uh, self-propelled is awesome it literally glides you you just walk with it so it's definitely not as uh, taxing on your body at cutting the grass and uh, overall the mower cuts really good the adjuster works great when you put it lower it will cut it real nice and we have it higher because of uh it's a little wet out and uh the grass we don't like to cut it too short in the summer but overall this mower is great and you can't really beat the price point considering how much mowers really are right now so this one was on sale i believe for 349 and actually it was a father's day gift for me we got it yesterday and today is father's day actually and we figured let's try it out perfect day to try it out it was a nice gift from the wife and the kid to uh to buy and we can both enjoy it and use it and get another battery and i did notice too with you the plastic it's kind of you know thin you want it, you don't want to really you know hold on to it more towards the center of the mower don't try not to if you're going to hold yeah, it like that just really you, you don't want to aim for the, like right here. Yeah, and you really don't want to squeeze it hard because no. it's very it's just thin plastic. You'll, once you hear it click, yeah, you can just now you can just hold on. To just it, the but, plastic was better material. But other than that, it works good. The uh, on that the speed works good. It, it, you can adjust it. It's nice that when you're cutting, say you want to pick it up a little bit, or if you're needing to turn, you can slow it down. We're Here. still trying to get our yard looking good. It looks a lot better than when we first moved in here about six, seven months ago. Yeah, we did we're getting lot. there we did a lot of uh landscaping so. still gotta clean all this area up we did the front landscaping we did the back we still gotta do the whole side of this house cut that and that and then uh another thing too real quick is we're, we plan on doing a video on this i purchased this when they had that uh buy two batteries for 99 dollars, you get a free tool i ordered this from their website ryobi i got this and actually i did two um, so I got four batteries and I actually got two tools. I got the fan and I got this and I'm going to do a review on this in a few weeks and just cutting up some little brush like this. I'll show you guys real quick. Appreciate you guys watching this video either. Video two, sorry. But yeah, cut stuff like this up around our house for our fire pit and cleaning all this brush right here. If you guys can see it, we'll do a little video on 
this right there. Rod Hobby chainsaw, eight inch. All right, so what do you think for your final thoughts? You want to show them how to, but you can uh, clean it real quick. So we thought of, since it's electric, you really don't want to hose it down too much. So we're going to use a leaf blower that we got. We've had this for a long time. This yep. uses actually a different battery though, so does the chainsaw. And we're just going to burn it off. Get some of that loose stuff off. We'll probably wipe it down a little bit. But we don't want to drench it. We don't know if you can or not. Yeah, we got to look at the directions a little bit, read on it a little more. But, and uh, we have a lot of Ryobi tools that I uh, usually buy when they're on sale and stuff like that. The great tools we we'll use around the house and that. So yeah, overall, it's a, it's a great mower, guys. Um, it's really good if you don't have as big of a property as us. If you do have about half an acre, just be sure to have an extra battery. Yes. Or if you don't mind waiting on charging it, that is up to you. But overall, it's a great mower. It lasted, I would say, probably 45 so yeah, to for, an hour. Yeah. So yeah, about an hour. I think it was an hour. And it's easy cutting, too. Uh, the self-propelled helps. Uh, it's just overall a good cutting mower. It, you, you, you'll enjoy it using it. It's not something that you have to lug around. It's not hard to get out. So I would yeah. recommend buying it if you need it, if you need an electric mower and you're looking for an upgrade. Plus two at home depot yesterday when we got these guys are buying them guys are buying electric mowers they were selling them you know different brands too the guys were grabbing them up i mean they're selling them i think it's good to have one of each if yeah i guess if you have an old gas one keep your old gas one but if you have an electric they both have their pros and cons but because we can finish this up with our gas and but for a half acre you will need the two batteries guys i hope that helps you out to uh Get another battery. Maybe look for another tool that takes that battery and yeah, get the tool and a keep battery. Keep in mind that these batteries are different than obviously the ones you're going to be using on these types of tools. I think there are tools you can use that one for. But just keep that in mind when you're going to buy that battery that you get that one. That's a 20 volt, I believe, on this one. But uh, that one's a 40 volt lithium. So just keep that in mind. All right. So that's pretty much. And then for the end of the video, appreciate you guys. Comment. Make sure you subscribe and comment. And check out some of other videos we make. Don't worry, guys. We got some more content, car content coming, some detailing stuff coming out. Just uh, been real busy. So thanks for bearing with our channel. Thanks for yeah. sticking around and watching our videos when we come out here and there. We've just been busy. So we, we appreciate you guys. Yeah, we do. We haven't had a lot of videos out this year. Um, ever since we moved. It's just working on a house and working. It's been hard to get some content out and detailing and, and stuff like that. And we have been detailing cars. And, and a lot of the customers just don't want us to detail, uh, make videos and photos of their uh, vehicles, which we have to respect that. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for following. Hope you guys enjoyed the video on this lawnmower. We tried to make it interesting and informative. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully All you right. guys can look at it. So check out some more videos. Yeah, and Lee. a bunch of videos for you guys to check out. And thanks for watching. And happy Father's Day if you guys are watching this. Well, it'll be out after Father's Day, but happy Father's Day anyway. See you guys.